Hello everyone, it is Lakidra again, and I wanted to come on and bring another quick word of empowerment and encouragement to those that are feeling discouraged. Many are wondering where is God and you are wondering about the lines of communication. So many have not yet heard from your spouse, but believe the promises of God. Believe Believe that there is going to be lines of communications opening up in Jesus' holy name. As the word of God tells us in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14 about our Lord Jesus Christ. It says, for Christ himself has brought peace to us. He united the Jews and Gentiles into one people when in his own body. On the cross, he broke down the wall of hostility that separated us. And so begin to believe what Jesus Christ done for you on the cross, precious standards. That the same wall that was broken down between the Jews and the Gentiles, nations around the world. Believe that that wall of separation between you and your spouse has also been broken. He broke down that wall. Between nations around the world. And he also broke down that wall that separated a husband from his wife. As the scriptures say, a man shall leave father and mother and be joined to his wife. And the two are united into one flesh. Believe that Jesus Christ has already paid the price for you over 2,000 years ago. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Believe that Jesus Christ has already broke down that wall between you. Believe that there is coming a great and powerful, a great and powerful uniting into one body. Where you and your spouse will receive one another as Christ also received us for the glory of God. Hallelujah. You know, the Lord God hates discord. He hates division and separation. He has put it to death when he hung up on that cross for you and I. You know, and a stander also reached out to me sharing how the Lord God opened up the lines of communication between her and her husband. After her not hearing from him, I want to read her email just to bring encouragement that the same God and open up the lines of communications between her and her husband. It's the same God that's doing it for you. Here she says, This weekend, on Saturday, I woke up very discouraged. I cried to God to give me strength. And after some time, I saw a video on YouTube saying, Thank God for what you have right now. Don't see what he is yet to do. All of a sudden, God reminded me, she says, of the last three dark months after separation from my husband and how he came through for me. I just broke down in tears, thanking him for all he had done. She said, the testimony you read last week was similar to my case. Few months, she says, I listened to the testimony more than ten times for encouragement. On Saturday evening, I decided to visit my social media accounts only to find my husband had loved all my postings. Since the month of April, I was so shocked I couldn't believe it since he had blocked me everywhere. The most shocking part of it is today I woke up only to find a text message from him saying, he is really sorry and he wants to meet with me this coming weekend. God has opened the communication for us. All the glory and honor belong to our God. Please tell all the precious standards. God is working behind the scenes. Yes, they may not see it. But we can keep praying and proclaiming God's promises for our marriage. Resurrection, restoration, and reconciliation is what God is doing now. 
I will continue standing even after I get full restoration and will pray with all other standards until we all cross to the other side. And she says this, just a reminder, standards don't try to go before God because you will be discouraged, especially for those with no communication with their husband or with their wives. I tried it and I almost gave up on standing. Please don't test the waters. Leave it all to God. She says, thank you, Lakija, for allowing God to use you as a vessel of encouragement to us. We love you and honor you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, people of God, you are next in line. Yes, the enemy may have caused walls to be built up in the mind of your spouse and may have caused blindness. But believe that that blindness is being removed. The scales is being taken away. That there is coming the lines of communication that are opening up in Jesus' holy name. As the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 15 verse 4. What the scriptures were written for. It says, and the scriptures gives us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently. For God's promises to be fulfilled. You will see the lines of communication. Opening up precious standards as you hold on. Here this woman of God. Did not know what God was doing behind the scenes. The moment she began to thank God for all he had done. And began to focus on. The things that God had got her through. Only to find out. That her husband had visited her page, liking all of her postings. The line of communication was open. That wall of division and separation was torn down. Her husband's heart began to soften. And now they are working on their relationship. The lines has opened. Believe you are next in line, precious standards. Getting your eyes off of the situation. Focusing them on the promises for they are what's going to bring encouragement keep your faith alive keep hope alive and help you stand and endure so that you don't throw in the tower they will help you wait patiently for the promises to be fulfilled as you stand in faith believing you've received them jesus said they will be yours Believe in the promises of God. This is why in Proverbs it tells us about the word of God. In Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20. My child pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep inside your heart. For they bring life to those who find them and heal into their whole bodies this is why the scriptures were written to bring forth life to bring forth the power of God to bring forth deliverance they were written to give us hope they are alive and living that is how God is bringing forth deliverance and his resurrection power into that situation the lines of communications are opening up as you begin to speak to that mountain, telling it to go throw itself in the sea. Tell that separation to go. Tell that wall to come down. Jesus has paid the price for every wall that you are facing precious standards that is standing between you and your loved ones. That wall has to come down in Jesus' name. Jesus has paid the price. And if he done it between the Jews and the Gentiles, you are next in line. Hallelujah. There are coming great rewards and more and more testimonies of what God is doing. And I declare it that it shall be this month for so many. And on throughout this year, in the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for tearing down the walls of hostility 
that has separated us from our loved ones. Oh God, thank you for breaking down that wall of hostility and enmity and division. Thank you, Lord, for overturning divorces. Lord, thank you, Jesus, for softening hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, we declare and decree that there are coming more and more breakthroughs. Lord, thank you for deliverance. We bind the works of the devil and we declare and decree they are behind us and under our feet. Satan, we bind you. We remove your works in Jesus' name. We have overcame you by the blood. We have overcame you by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies. Thank you, Lord, for this precious testimony. Lord, may you continue doing a mighty work in that relationship between this sister and her husband, oh God. May you continue softening his heart. May you continue bringing, Lord, restoration and peace between them. For you are our peace. Lord, and thank you for bringing peace between us and our spouses. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we give you the praise. Lord, I pray this prayer for everyone that is up under the sound of my voice. May the word of God keep them encouraged. May you, Lord God, help them, Lord, to remain strong during this time, Lord. While they are waiting for the promises to be fulfilled. We all ask it all in Jesus name Lord. And also thank you for everyone that has been a support in your work. That has also given out of the generosity of their heart. Lord may you bless them and answer that need. Answer that prayer. May you return it back to them 100 fold return. In the precious name of Jesus we pray and ask it all. And thank you for it in advance. And all the standards that are joining with me now. Lord, thank you for doing a mighty work in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Just know, people of God, that I am praying for you. Believe you've received it, Jesus says. And it shall be yours. He has already given it. He has already paid the price. And until next time, remember... You are blessed. Bye-bye.